very unusual world in this particular school. Normally, uh, I had one year before to assess how this school operated. Lots of things happen every day, every minute, all the time. During the school day, after school, in the evening, which you see probably from the people who are working on the play, as is a call right now. You can hear them now and again as they're changing or moving into something else. Uh, it, also on the weekends. So it, it's always interesting to try and find a way to get everything to happen. But when I see a group of students who are as empowered by their parents, by the kind of things that they're interested in, uh, I, I really you know, had difficulty imagining this not happening. And so uh, you know, I can remember going to UOIT and seeing all that was there. I had experienced the year before, but somehow this year was even more, uh, I don't know, tangible to me because I could see that uh, when you're in the UOIT, what a mentor all of you. And uh, I could see that even in the dance as you're out there, you're doing what students all over the world and people all over the world are doing. When they're joyous, they dance and they dance together and they do a lot of wonderful things. So I was empowered by the spirits of the students the desire of parents to be with their, their children in ways which were perhaps unique. And as parents uh, demonstrated, they had all kinds of skills that maybe their children didn't recognize. And you got to know each other a little bit better in an adult form. I think that's absolutely wonderful because often students say, you know, mom and dad, you really, you really don't have to come to school. You don't have to come to parents' night. You don't have to do these things. I'm okay. You know, I, I'm big you now and I can manage. But what I found was the teamwork, the collaboration, the respect was just incredible. And the sharing of understanding, the development of knowledge, and the practical application of theory and other, other elements of life that they were learning in terms of working with another person, respecting people from, for various skills that they had or for their enthusiasm. Everybody had a role. And no matter when I came, I always saw someone who was working hard, helping someone else. You know, when I was thinking of um, <coughs> this week as we were handing out uh, cards to students who were doing fine things that we saw. It's a kindness card. And I thought I could do that every night at robotics because people are doing good things all the time. And, uh, you know, <laughs> what I saw though was a kind of growth that is impossible to achieve that enthusiasm and a passion for what you're doing. You can be enthusiastic, rah, 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 but you also need to have some kind of thing that's going in terms of your, your development of knowledge. So I know your sponsors and people uh, in the group, the adults who have been with you, the teachers who have been involved, other staff have, have asked, well, what's next for this group? Well, someone asked me tonight if I was going to be there in St. Louis next year. And I said, well, if you're there, I'll try and be there, too. I did actually try this year, but when I tried, it was too late. I would have had to spend $2,000 of my own money, which is quite possible, but not realistic in my circumstance. So as a result, I just couldn't fly in and say, hi, how are you doing today? I could drive to Oshawa, but I couldn't really fly to St. Louis. Although I did consider, my husband said, you remember when we went there, we passed by St. Louis, we saw the arch? I bet if we drove there, we'd see some people that I know anyway. And uh, he said, well big drive on a weekend, and so we decided not to do that. But I must say that what I found in all that happened encourages me to consider how this program fits into our school and where we're going to go with it in the future. And I think that's very, very important. And one of the things that we're going to be looking at next year, which relates to this kind of thing, is I, I'm very interested in hearing the students' voices. I heard yours very clearly this year, uh, not necessarily individually, but I did speak to people over the course of time, when you stop by to talk to me, or I've looked at you at 7 o'clock after you've just had a wonderful dinner prepared by someone in the school, a parent. And what I was looking at was where we're going to go. So we'd like to empower students to have a voice in where we're going to go. And we're going to, there's many kinds of leaders you often hear people who are the, you know, in charge of the student council or whatever, they speak to students. But I would like to hear all the voices of the students in the school over a number of matters. And I know that people have said to me, what's happening in your auto shop? Couldn't we have more space? Couldn't we have a course? Couldn't we have a program? Couldn't we? Nothing is impossible. You know, it is, it is maybe some things are less likely to happen, 
But um, I know that I tried when I first came here to bring in a teacher in the school who was familiar with robotics, but I couldn't manage it because of staffing considerations. We have a set number of teachers assigned to us based on student requirements. You can't move forward. But I tried again this year to see if I could do any kind of uh, movement in terms of a math teacher who had robotics or any of those kinds of things on their ticket and or their interest level or whatever. I haven't managed to be able to do that, but I'm not without hope. And we will probably next year be on the same kind of pathway we're on this year in terms of having some staff engaged to the degree that they can engage uh, at that point in their life and also parent engagement and all kinds of things. But do I support robotics? Absolutely, no question, undeniably. Will I be looking forward to things, good things happening in terms of finding a better space so that you're not all standing in the room <laughs> just sticking your hands out a little bit so you can get things done? I know it's a wonderful room, Mr. Gould, but it's, not, <laughs> it's just inclined to be small. So I'm looking for other spaces in the school where you'll be comfortable. But this year what I tried to do was to have spaces where you could be. But you work with that. You were spilled out into the hall. I had another teacher come to me and said, you know, I always see them. There's so many students. They're out in the hall. They're working on the floor. They don't have these things. I said, I understand that someone that, you know, is in a different field and just noticed how hard you were working and was speaking on your behalf to have more. And so certainly I'm considering all that in our plans for the future. I can't make this, you know, I don't have one of those magic wands that just <coughs> changes the space into a robotics lab. And, but I do have some opportunities, which I'm going to look at in the future, to see what I can do to support you. But if I don't know what you want, I can never act. And so that's why I'm interested in your voices to come and talk to your parents. All of that really helps me in terms of where I might go. And if I have a dream, I'm known to follow the dream until I get there. So if it takes me a year or two, that doesn't really matter in the scheme of things. We may arrive. And so we're arriving in lots of ways in this school, and you'll see some changes when you come back to school in the fall. This is most of you are in grade 9 and 10, and a few grade 11s. But you'll see some things, and if you don't, you should come and see what you can find out. I thought maybe we could do a uh, scavenger hunt. It's too much with a thousand people, but we could possibly mm -hmm. do something. Now, I don't want to spend too much time uh, talking here, but I did want you to know what I believe in, that I have a vision for the school that makes it a place where students are finding what they need to meet the future. And with the future, we know it's constantly changing. But if you, if you take around with you what you have experienced, and uh, the old saying that you're a part of all that you have known, from a very famous poem, you are. And all that you have now, you'll take with you wherever you go. You know what it means when people work together. You know what it means when we work together for a common goal. And we know what it means when we have the spirit and passion for what we believe in. I know you can do it, and I look forward to seeing you in St. Louis. Isn't there a song, something like that? <laughs> <laughs> in any case, I, wherever it might be, I know that in the future, I'm going to see your faces in the newspaper and other things because you've done something good in your community, for yourself, for other things. And so I just want to thank all of you for what you did and proved that the grade the students are incredible. And I'm so glad you, my, you know, your students in, in the school that I am representing and that I'm the principal of the school because it does give me great joy to be able to try and solve some of the problems. So I look forward to next year and all the things that you're going to be doing. And I know you'll probably be on my door right from the beginning. So <laughs> uh, have a wonderful summer and have lots of fun because I think fun is, and I saw you doing it here, but make sure you have the kind of fun that makes you grow as well in terms of being ready because we all need respite from what we're doing so we can move forward. We regroup and then progress. So I'm delighted in what you have, have done, and I look forward to your further accomplishments in many fields. And to the parents, I can't thank you enough. And to the sponsors, the same. Because both of you in, in those groups have demonstrated what it means to support the youth of today. And if you're not supporting them, they don't have anyone. They stand alone. But they know clearly now that they're not alone. They're part of a group of people who believe in a future that everyone can attain. So thank you so very, very much.